Okay, great. Uh, so today we're gonna go uh, and have an introduction to the financial indicators that we have uh, listed on the Charlie documents so that we can have a better understanding of uh, what they are and uh, how we can interpret them and of course uh, just to help us on our decisions so i'm not going to go deep into the financial uh, indicators because they are very vast but we will have a good and uh, i believe a detailed enough a good uh, a good enough explanation of the financial indicators so that we can start working on them yeah so as usual if you have you guys have any questions uh, if my voice is not clear and so on please make sure to just uh, raise your hands or just speak okay um yeah so uh so uh let's start with what they are so financial indicators are uh just uh, part of the financial uh, report so they they provide insights into a company's financial health their performance and uh, risk profile so these are the things that we look into a company before investing on it and uh yeah if we decide to buy or sell that, that share we have uh, so they act as a guide and uh a, a guide guiding investors through the complexity of the market because uh, there are a lot of options when we come to the market a lot of companies that we can invest in uh, they look really uh, profitable but they're not sometimes we may lose a lot and sometimes we may gain a lot so uh, knowing these things and uh, yeah uh, analyzing them would help a lot so that that's why uh, we go through these financial indicators and do analysis before we recommend the company to invest in. So by analyzing these metrics, uh, investors can analyze the company's, a company's potential for growth, profitability, and stability. So yeah, so uh, we are going to be looking at three types of ratios: the solvency ratio, the liquidity ratio, and uh, profitability ratio before going into the financial indicators. So, yeah, uh, profitability ratio means uh, earning per share. Uh, so we have three types of uh, profitability ratios. And for this project, uh, like I know it's optional, but we uh, would recommend you to work on return on equity, which is one of the profitability ratios of a company. So earning per share is just the company's uh, a measure of company's profile allocated to each outstanding share. So how much they pay for their uh, outstanding share. Uh, yeah, profit allocated for each uh, outstanding shares. Price per earning ratio, which is uh, uh, which compares a company's stock price to its uh, earning per share so it's just the price per uh, earning per share so it think indicates its relative uh, valuation when compared to its price uh, and the last one return on equity is just an a measure of how effectively a company utilizes the stakeholders equity to generate profit so you would uh, so as an investor you would invest your money in the company and that company would take your investment and uh, uh do some work with it and generate profit rates so that's what return on equity means so how much how effective are they in uh like using the stakeholders equity which is investment to generate profit yeah and the next ratio is just the liquidity ratio which is uh current ratio uh, which assesses uh, a company's ability to meet short-term obligations by using current assets. So we have two types of assets, current asset and uh, uh, long-term assets. We call them short-term assets and long-term assets. So what they mean is just uh, solvency. We will see, uh, we will see them 
on the key financial indicators. It means uh, cash on hand or liquidity, which is uh, just a measure of how much money they have on hand. Or even if it's, it's not cash, uh, it could be something that can be uh, turned into cash very easily and quickly. So, uh, so if they have this uh, liquidity ratio, more li liquidity ratio, it's good. It's, uh, it just means that they are able to meet short-term obligations. If they face anything uh, on the short term, it means that they can uh, just overcome that one. But if they don't have a good amount of cash or something that can be turned into cash uh, very easily and uh, quickly, they would uh, be in trouble when they meet uh, these short-term obligations. Yep. Okay, and solvency, uh, the solvency ratio is just debt to equity ratio. So how much of the equity is from debt? Um, so it just me measures their financial le 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 leverage, I'm sorry. Uh, and in it indicates the reliance on uh, debt versus equity in financing. So if they depend more on debt, that's not a good ratio, a good uh, view for the company. Um, so, yeah, so the, these three ratios are very crucial uh, when you uh, take a look into a company. Yep, yeah. okay. Uh, any questions so far, guys? Uh, sir, please, uh, if you can come again with this uh, very important ratio. Oh, the three ratios. Yeah, uh, sure we can. Um, so, uh, so we have three ratios uh, here. Uh, so, uh, the first one is profitability ratio, which just shows how profitable the company is. But we have three ratios that shows this uh, profitability. The first one is earning per share. It just uh, shows the profit allocated to each outstanding share. So, yeah, the more profit they have uh, per uh, allocated outstanding share, the better they are. And earning uh, uh, price to earn. in using your money your uh, by you i mean uh, as an investor your money to generate profit so if they are not using your money properly or wisely they will not uh, like generate uh, enough or a good amount of profit so if the return on equity is less that's not a good sign that's a bad sign uh, and the next one is liquidity ratio so when we see liquidity uh, we mean cash or something that can be converted into cash instantly or uh, very quickly. So uh, if you have cash on hand or something that can be uh, converted into cash uh, very easily and quickly, that would mean uh, you can you are able to actually uh, just uh, uh, meet short-term obligations uh, that you may have faced while operating. Um, yeah, so for instance, uh, if you are operating, let's say, um, uh, lo a logistics company, if you don't have uh, a cash on hand, and if one of the trucks that you are operating would, uh, is, uh, would break down, if you cannot, uh, if you don't have the money to fix it, you would have to uh, halt all your operations, right? before you sell your assets and get the cash that you want. So that's what we mean by liquidity. But if you, on the other hand, if you have the right amount of uh, money on hand, uh, of, co uh, of course, you could just uh, use that one to fix the truck and get back to work. So liquidity is very, very good and basic thing that you look into a company. And solvency ratio is just debt 
uh, over equity. So it just shows uh, what the company relies on. So if it relies on uh, debt more than equity, that's not a good sign. Uh, so you need to find some balance in that one. So how is it financed? So solvency just means how is it financed? Um, did I answer your question? Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so let's move to the key financial indicators that uh, we have on our, on our challenge document and how they would influence our investment decisions, whether or not we should invest or, or we should not, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's get started. So the first one on the list is cash on hand. So this is just, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, this is just uh, the liquidity ratio. You, you you could say the liquidity of the company. Uh, so it just means, uh, does it have cash on hand or is there any available cash that they uh, can use in order to meet short-term needs or obligations. So a higher cash reserve would indicate financial stability because as I have said earlier, uh, if you meet some uh, like obligations where, while you are operating and, and you have to wait till you sell uh, uh, some of your assets or till you ask your investors to invest more money to fix this problem, you would have to stop operations till you get that money, right? So having cash on hand would definitely uh, help in this situation. So having a higher cash reserve or cash on hand would indicate financial stability, but of course there is a limit to this one. Um, so if you have too much cash on hand, uh, that would mean you are not using your uh, assets uh, like wisely and that would uh, actually reduce your uh, return um, uh, um, sorry your ratio your profitability ratio which is your uh, return on equity so return on equity is just how effectively you are using cash holder security to generate the profit and if you are just holding the cash uh, and not doing anything with, with, with it that would highly influence your uh, return on equity but uh, if you have the right amount of cash yeah that would definitely indicate financial stability normally uh yeah so uh, uh so uh you need to favor companies with strong cash positions for stability and growth so that so this means that uh they could actually be able to uh, meet short-term obligations and gross revenue is just the total amount of uh, money that you generate by selling goods or services and this is actually before deducting exp de deducting expenses and taxations and so on and so on this is just what you get out after you sold uh, the goods or the services so what this shows is, is this shows the overall sales of the company so the higher revenue would mean a good sales. So, uh, but it doesn't mean profit. So profit is a, a whole other thing. But revenue would would show their sales performance. So if say if they sell much more, they would get a higher revenue. But that that, that does not promise profit. We will see what profit uh, is dependent on. But yeah. So consistent uh, or growing uh, revenue would suggest a strong market position. And when we uh, look at the gross revenue, we should see, uh, we, we should look for stability and increase in revenue in a sign of business uh, sustainability, is a sign of business sustainability. So when you look at the graph for gross revenue, you should see for, or look for a stable growth and increasing in re revenue. Yeah, and market capitalization is just uh, how the company uh, is valued by the market 
when compared to other com companies with different sizes. So it just shows the company's outstanding shares in the stock market, and it's calculated by uh, multiplying the current share price by the total, the total number of outstanding shares. So how is it valued? Uh, by uh, uh, It just shows the market's uh, valuation of the company, how the company is valued by the market, and it's used to compare companies of different si sizes. So large companies are seen as less risky because their market ca capitalization is higher and smaller companies offer higher growth potential as compared to, of course, the large co companies. And research and development spend is just uh, shows the amount of money a company is willing to invest in research and de development activities for their products and services. So which shows uh, that the company, this shows that the company is uh, developing a new product, a new service, or a new process. So this shows uh, the company's commitment to innovation and future growth prospects. So a consistent research and development investment is always positive, especially for the tech and pharmaceutical uh, sectors. Uh, yeah. So is it clear so far? So, oh, uh, Bernard, I didn't see your hand. Sorry, uh, you can go. OK, thank you. I just wanted some clarity with uh, the profitability ratio. So um, um, in uh, do you have to calculate all this profit article, or you can pick one ratio model and then use it? and um, I understand that, like the return on OKT, I'm I'm sure uh, you look at okay. Um, if I give my money to a company, how much will I earn on the money that I've given to the company? Or um, that is when I own a part of the company, my share of ownership on the company, and then the amount that will comes to me uh, is that what it's supposed to be? Um, and then um, the price to earning ratio. I wanted a clarity as to okay. Um, um, this is the current price or uh, the stock price we have there, and then um, the shares that we have and the earnings that comes to it. So you strike the. Do you have to strike the balance? I don't know if you okay. got my questions. Uh, yeah, I think I did. So you only have to choose one for this project. I just included uh, everything because uh, if you are interested, you can go further and do these things but for this project you are you can just do the return on equity and see how how the company is utilizing the uh, investment of the shareholders to join profit more profit that's a good thing and for price to earning ratio uh, so yeah so this just means that uh, you have to spend or uh, you have to pay to buy the share and the earning per share that you receive or the profit that you receive. So if there is no ba balance between these two, uh, especially if the price is too high and the earning per share is too low, that would mean loss for uh, the investors, right? So that that's why I meant you need to sh to see or to look for some kind of uh, balance between the two. But uh, for this project, yeah, you only have to work with uh, return on equity. And I think you can find it easily. You don't have to cal calculate anything for this one. Yeah, uh, go on, Bernard. It's fine. I just wanted to see. OK, so is it clear? Uh, I think I didn't click that one. Yes, yes, it, 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 it's cool. It's OK with me. OK, good, good. Thank you for the question. Any other questions? Um, on the comment section, I can see that uh, it wasn't audible. Uh, was I not audible, guys? Or was that or only on his side, I think, Terrafa's side? Terrafa, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. No, it's better. OK. Uh, so do you, is there anything that you want me to go back to? 
Yeah, actually I got, already I got, but it was a few minutes ago that I uh, put my message on the uh, <clears throat> chat section, yeah. but now it's okay, yeah. Okay, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, okay. So research and development, and then uh, let's go to uh, net profit and return on equity. So, uh, so for the net profit or the net income is just uh, uh, the total revenue minus uh, the total expenses, which include taxes so this is the money you are left with uh, after you have paid all, all debts uh, all expenses and your taxes so this shows uh, the company's profitability after all accounting uh, all uh, after accounting all costs and it shows operational efficiency so if that's why i said earlier uh, having more re revenue doesn't promise uh, a higher profit because if that company is not operationally effective or um, efficient, they would have actually uh, much more expense than they should, and the profit would be less, and even you could uh, go into uh, loss. So you need to, uh, so for, if you are looking at the net revenue or the total revenue, you are only looking for, their sales performance, not their profitability. So if you want to look at the profitability, you need to look at the net profit. So, uh, yeah, so because the, all the expenses, the taxes and everything is not accounted on the revenue, but uh, some companies could have more uh, profit by selling less, especially uh, some of the uh, like uh, le lecture items, if you can't say, like, uh, for instance, uh, ledger items such as, uh, let's say, uh, Louis Vuitton, they could be selling much, much less uh, than some of the, the closing companies, but, but they could be uh, earning more or having more profit. So they are more profitability, but they are not... Uh, they don't have that uh, big sales performance, but for the other company, they might not be profitability, but they have, they may have a good uh, sales performance. So you need to to take account those two factors. And the last one, of course, is return on equity. Uh, it shows the profitability of a company in relation to the sh uh, shareholders' equity. So I think we have seen this one. Uh, earlier when we talk about the, the profitability ratios so it just shows how effective the company is uh, in, in using their shareholders fund or the shareholders investments to generate profit so higher return on investment means higher uh, or a good uh, use of the owners or the shareholders uh, investment so when you are looking for uh, when you are looking at return on investment you need to see to look for a stable or growing uh, return on investment that is attractive for uh, investors and when we come to the net profit you need to see for look for uh, consistent or growing net profit um, yeah so is it clear so far guys Okay, great. So I have included uh, some uh, examples of stable growth and uh, uh, like unstable growth or in the financial indicators. So here, if you can see, this is a stable growth. So it's, it is stable and it's uh, growing. So we need to look at uh, something that mimics or comes close to uh, this graph when we look at uh, a specific company's financial indicators. So you can see here, this is the return on equity. Return on equity could not, does not actually go uh, up so much, uh, but uh, net profit, you can see it's going, uh, it's going up uh, at a higher rate of pace 
and the revenue is going much much faster uh, than the rest but yeah so this is what we uh, have to look for when we say uh, stable growth and unstable growth could look like something like, like this one so it's, it's increasing some year and it's decreasing some years it's making profit some years and it's making loss some years actually uh, everything is in a on a positive side so they didn't incur any loss that you cannot be sure uh, where, whether they are going to be having a good year or not so it's a gamble a bit basically so uh, you could be entering at a higher price and exiting at a lower price. Uh, so you need to take up account in, uh, these things when you are uh, analyzing the financial indicators. So yeah, so this is just an introduction session and we don't have actually any practical session because it's just uh, introduction, introducing you to the financial indicators. Uh, was that a question? I think someone has their mic. Yes, um, can, you, yes, can you just go over the uh, analysis again, the graph analysis, interpretation of the graph, sorry. You mean this? No. Uh, just the interpretation like, uh, of the graph, yes, sir. Well, um, uh, that was yeah, the interpretation. Viability, I mean, the financial viability. Excuse me? The interpretation of the graph you did, if you could just repeat that uh okay i was it was not interpretation i was just showing you what um, a stable growth would look like so a stable growth we could li li look like this one uh so this is for the total revenue of course revenue is always higher than profit uh, than it profits so i was just saying that when you are looking at a company you should look for something that mimics this kind of uh, graph or behavior uh to say that they are stable and they are growing um so you could be uh like sure that the next year is going to be uh on a rise rather than uh, not being sure if the if the company is going to make profit or not because they have been making profit for the last eight years for this example and it's stably growing but when we see the unstable growth in the financial indicators, some year they are making uh, more, and some year they are ma making less, and, uh, and uh, on the next year they are making more and less and more and less. So uh, this is not comforting because you you could be entering at uh, on a year where they are making less, and uh, you could be exiting on a year when they are making more. So, for instance, I know I know this. Uh, this is not a good example because it's not a company, but uh, if someone, because th this is just the only example on my mind right now. Uh, so if someone is into cryptocurrency and uh, would like to buy, uh, let, let's say some coins, Bitcoins, and they bought, let's say, uh, I think before two months, it was about around 74,000 and now it's around uh, 50 cents, something thousand. So, so they're losing money, right? They're losing a lot of money. So that just shows uh, how unstable the market is. Yeah, so it's not, it was not an interpretation, but I was just giving example of what, uh, a stable growth will look like and what uh, unstable growth will look like. Uh, Bernard? <clears throat> okay, uh, I think he has having a problem with his, my, uh, with his network. Uh, any other questions, guys? or is it everything clear so this session is just to help you choose uh, the three financial indicators that you are going to be working with when you are doing your report
Okay, great. Uh, so if everything is clear and you don't have any questions, yes, Wendy. And then Eric. Wendy, you can speak. Uh, if you are speaking, I think your mic is on mute. Hi. Good Hi. morning, good afternoon, wherever. Um, please, I want to find out. Uh, so, when doing the graph on the assignment sheet, are we supposed to? Um, I, I don't know if it has already been communicated, but then I just want clarification. Are we supposed to present the graph on a different spreadsheet for each of the um, data we pulled out for the assignment, or we are supposed to? Created like under under each of the of the data sets. Please, is my is my question clear? Uh, yeah. So that's a good question, and um, so it depends on you. So, uh, uh okay. Let, I I think it's good to relate this with the business objective. So, you are trying to show your boss's sister which companies uh a better. Uh, like a better option when it comes to uh, investing, right? So uh, what you need to look for is you need to compare every company or a single, uh, let's say, indicator for the five years so that you can show which company is doing better when compared to the other co companies. So what i would advise you to do of course this is an advice but i would really encourage you to uh, look into uh, just or try different approaches before kind of coming to uh, a conclusion but what i would definitely uh, uh, like recommend you to do is to just work on a single uh, indicator for all companies over the five years so that you can see which company is doing bad and which company is doing good. Yeah, is that clear or did I get did I not get your question right? Uh, it was quite clear, but the line kept tripping at some point. So if you can type it in the chat section, so it would be much easier to um, read and assimilate whatever you have shared. Uh, okay, you didn't hear me. Uh, was yes. my my voice breaking exactly um, okay let me try again because uh it would take time to write but i will i can write on uh, your slack but let me try again so what i was just saying was uh we're trying to show your boss's sister which company is highly uh which company i'm sorry uh which company is highly uh advisable or recommended to invest uh i'm sorry <laughs> um so i'm sorry let, let me start uh so what i was just saying was uh we are trying to look into company to recommend to your boss's sister to invest right so we are looking to compare them so what i would definitely recommend you to do is to, to just uh compare all the companies across a single indicator per graph uh, for the allocated time, so which is for the five years. For instance, if you choose to work with uh, cash on hand, uh, so you need to compare the cash on hand of the, the seven companies across the five years so that you, you, you can see the trend of each company for a specific year. So uh, yeah, that's just a recommendation on my side. But I would definitely uh, would uh, would uh, like to see what you come up with. Okay, uh, great. Uh, and and if you still have the question, you can uh, ask on Slack for more classif uh, clarification. And Eric. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, I have done with the task number one of collecting data from Microsoft for pilot. Uh, but when reaching on task number two, uh, where we are asked to create three graphs, uh, one graph for each indicator, and uh, to include uh, the data for 
from all the seven companies. Uh, uh, for here, I, I get confused. Confused. Uh, where you 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 told us to create uh, one or a single spreadsheet and include the the seven sheets for each company. Uh, the sheet the, the sheet for Google, Microsoft, uh, and so on. Yes. And here in the question, uh, you asked us to to include the data for for the seven companies. Uh, how will we, we do this uh, in order to 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 analyze the, the the data for all seven companies in, in a single spreadsheet, uh, but in a different sheet? Okay, um, you can definitely select uh, the data from across the sheets. I think we have seen this uh, on week one, but uh, if you like, I will show you uh, uh, how to do it. But you can do that, but if you are having problem with that, you can uh, just uh, have each sheet for each indicator uh, across the years and work with, with that one. But we definitely uh, would. Uh, you, we definitely need you to work with uh, one indicator per graph. And uh, okay, uh, per graph, and show the trend of each company on that graph, so that it's easier for you to compare them. Okay, uh, Bernard. Yes, so thank you. So I just wanted to add up to what Wendy was asking, probably. So if I understand correctly, um, we want to invest in um, these types of companies that we have been given. So, um, but then we de we can't just invest. We need to see how they are performing on the on the market. So we have been given a set of indicators to measure their performance on. So that's where we are going to collect the data. And at the end of the day, we are going to visualize or analyze them to see that, okay, maybe when you look at all the indicator cumulatively, uh, company is better for us to invest our money in. Or when you look at uh, company B cumulatively, this is the company that uh, we are going to uh, invest in. So we are just looking at the performance of each company based on the variables or the indicators that we have been given. And that will come out when we do the analysis and then the, the plotting of the graph or the charting that we show which one is viable for us to invest our money. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Bernard. That's put beautifully and wonderfully. Um, I hope you get that, Wendy. And yeah, great. Uh, so uh, I think it's already answered by Abraham, test fires question. So we need to make sure that it's consistent across all the data. We cannot uh, do billions for one data set and trillions for one data set. We have to choose one and abraham already answered that one i just wanted to speak it out uh, as for the others so if you can see here you can see in millions so this is uh, by the way when we say uh, you have to write in billions or millions yeah, what we mean is you have to specify on the column so you can say total revenue and on in a bracket you can say in millions uh, net profit in bracket millions. So we would understand if you put 60 in the in the cell, it would mean 60 million. Yeah, okay. Thank you guys. Those were really, really great questions and uh, conversations. And I would I would really like to see more in the afternoon's Q and this year session. We would had we will have more uh practical uh yeah Teresa. yeah thank you one more question uh, regarding yes. the position of the graphs uh we have already selected three uh indicators and we did a graph for each of them then are we supposed to uh, manipulate all the three graphs in one single sheet like a4 paper or we treat them uh, separately Okay, great. Um, you only need to copy uh, uh, and uh, put them in a single sheet. 
in a single PDF or, or a single uh, A4 paper, and then only have one paragraph uh, that would explain uh, in a short uh, in a short paragraph uh, why why you think this company is better, uh, which companies you have to compete with, and your rec recommendation. So one paragraph and three graphs in a simple in a single uh, page. So yeah, okay, great. Uh, so in the afternoon, I was just saying that uh, let everyone. I would like to ask everyone to join in the afternoon, and we can have a practical uh, session where where we can uh, do it together. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much uh, for attending. Uh, are there any quick quick questions before I? Stop the recording, or is everything clear? Is if everything is clear, show me some thumbs up. Okay, good. One. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Let me just stop the recording.